I knew that this story would come, and <laughs> even still, it doesn't make it any easier. But this final story is dedicated to the best friend that I've ever had. And although he's no longer here to hear it, he lived a very long and happy life. And unfortunately, he had to go home. So, Our final story is called I Took Him to the Park. I took my dog to the park. He wasn't his younger self anymore. His legs and joints no longer moved as quickly as he would have liked them to, but that didn't stop him from trying. I had to lift him into the passenger seat. That should have been the first sign, but I thought nothing of it, as he hadn't been well around that time. As we headed towards the park, I lowered the window for him. And within an instant, his big head was out of the window, panting in anticipations of the sights, smells, and new friends that, w that awaited him at the park. I opened the door for him, and he slowly lowered himself out of the car, like a trial, trying not to slip on ice. But then he was off, turning back, as if to say, come on, we're here now, let's go. And with that, he turned and trotted off ahead. It wasn't hard to catch up with him. And once I did, we walked along happily for a while. A while later, I noticed he was getting tired more quickly than usual. So I figured it was about time to head home but not until he had sniffed and peed on a few more bushes. The drive home was quiet. He rested his big head on my leg and stared up at me with those old eyes that seemed to stare straight through me. When we got home, I had to lift him down out of the car. Once inside, we would normally go sit on the couch, but instead he headed straight for my bedroom. I decided to follow him as that wasn't normal for him. He went to stand beside my bed and tried to climb up. He had never been allowed on my bed before, but this time I gently lifted him up held him in my arms and lay down on the bed. I had known what was coming. Thank you. I told him. You've been everything I could have ever wanted and more. When I was angry, you made me smile. 
When I was scared, you gave me comfort. And when I thought I was alone, you reminded me you were always there. I love you. I just wish you didn't have to go now. He stared up at me as tears began to fall on him. And he gave me one last long lick of his tongue, as if to say, Why are you crying? It's going to be okay. You are going to be okay. And with that, I held him close and felt as his last breath left him. I don't know how long I lay there, holding the lifeless body of my old friend. He had given me everything, until his old body had nothing left to give. But even in his final moments, he still had time for me. And I would always have time for him. Time is all I've got left now. Goodbye.